In this video, I'm going to go ahead and split the surfaces to create sort of this area over here in the um, plan. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I'm going to go to another file that, that doesn't have that done and go to the plan A1 schematic and duplicate that view. I'm not going to use the detailing and then I'll just rename it. Finish. And now what I want to do is split the floor. This is one big floor and I'm going to split the surface of that floor. So I'm going to go to my modify command and there's a split face. Sorry, I always say surface. So you'll have to accept that. And then if you come in here, you can tab until you get to that floor. And then you can split that surface. So I'm just going to draw a line. I'm going to say I want the floor to end here and I want this to go 12 feet. And then I'll just come over here. I'm not going to be super exact and then draw to here. And then I could draw the other ones or I could pick lines that represent the edges and then trim them out using the trim command. So I'll just trim these out and then I'll hit check and you'll see it will split that surface into two surfaces. Now <clears throat> I'm going to go ahead and apply the material that I'm going to use. So I need to make it. So I'm going to go to my manage and materials. And I'm going to create a new material here. And I'm going to name it tile horizontal. Okay. And um, for right now, I'm just going to use a surface pattern to get it sort of aligned. And so I'm going to go to the foreground pattern and I'm going to click model because that will leave them exactly spaced. It won't scale with the scaling of the view and I'm going to create a new one and I'll call this tile horizontal as well and I want that to be a crosshatch. I want it to be zero. I don't want it to be rotated and I want it to be two foot by one foot. I could actually put that in the title too if you wanted to and then click OK and click OK and click OK. Now I want to paint that material inside this area. So that's also under the modify right below the split um, face. And so I'm going to go to paint and I'm going to scroll down to my tile that I just created, the tile horizontal, and I'm going to paint that. And you're going to see it paint that um, size into the um, area. And then I'm going to go in and use my align tool to align to the edges of the wall and to the edge of this booth back that tile pattern. So you can see the 12 works out because this is a two foot. But over here we're getting a little bit of a difference. So I want that to be exact and it's an important point um, to get your materials to work out correctly with your with your uh, usage areas or your division of your floor plan. So um, I'm going to go to annotate real quick and I'm going to draw a detail line just for reference from here to here to here. And then I'm going to go to my split face again and I'm going to um, actually I'm going to pick the um, split region and edit boundary. You don't need to go to split face to do this. You want to edit the existing one and I'm just going to use the align command again which AL is the shortcut and align to that line that guy and then hit the big green check and then I'll just erase these guys and you can see now my tile pattern is set pretty much um, with the zero zero here and moving its way up here. Um, the next thing I want to do is create a border around this guy to accommodate some of the slants and things like that. So for that I need to go to the split face again and I want to split the existing face that I have. And what I'm going to do is draw a line um, that's offset by one foot. And I'll just go through and draw this line right around this guy. And then I'll just trim it out here to make it a closed piece and then I'll hit the big green check. And that actually split it, which worked, but we actually want the 
um, horizontal tile, the other tile inside and the other one outside, but that's okay because we need to make another tile pattern to um, create the border tile. So let's do that and then we'll just repaint it. So don't worry if things get a little bit of a problem as long as you get your um, your border, your splits correct. And so I'm going to go back to my material. So I'll go to my manage and my materials and I'll create a new material again and I'll call this guy um, tile border. Okay and then I'll make this guy, go ahead and check that while I'm at it, um, this guy I actually want it to be, there. I think there is a 12 inch tile, so I want that to be sort of a 12 inch tile on the edge, and I'll click OK, and click OK, and now I'll go back to my paint in the modify, and I will paint it. So I'll go to paint, and if I go down to my um, to my tile again, I now have the tile horizontal, which I want to paint here, and then I have the tile border, which I want to paint on that guy, right? So now I've got a border and the tile horizontal, and I do need to align it again, which is a little annoying, but, you know, not a huge deal since you can do it really quickly. And you'll see that they will now begin to line up. So I have a tile border and a tile center. So when I come back, um, we'll put materials on that and then adjust it a little bit.